Hi guys, welcome to Carlene's Zeitgeist Guys Tarot. I'm so happy that you found your way here. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the gray bell so that you receive the updates. Those of you that have been with me for a while, thank you so much and um, thank you for your support. Today I'm doing a little bit something different. I don't do this hardly ever actually on my channel and we're just going to be looking at love and your love relationships and seeing what's going on, what's happening, okay? And where this is going to lead, where are you going to end up with this, all right? So it's a pick a card reading. There are going to be four stacks and you can choose which deck you would like to work from or with. So it's either the Visconti Sforza, the Soul Cards. Um, my hands are too small the wild unknown tarot okay and as a last final option and i'll hold them all up at once one second is the 78 mythical tarot okay so you can choose from the visconti sforza the soul cards the wild unknown or the 78 mythical tarot for your reading on your love life and you can pause the video right here and just take a moment okay let's get started righty i am starting off with the Visconti Swartza deck. Before I dive in though, those of you that are bear fans, my little doggy, <laughs> you've got to see this. He's sleeping on the couch, on top of the couch right behind my desk here. So there he is, all asleep and cuddly. But his energies and his good wishes and love are also flowing into this reading. Don't worry, he's always right here by my side oh he turned his head bear are you gonna say hi bun buns are you gonna say hi bunny okay i guess not <laughs> all righty so let's get started and um those of you that chose the visconti sforza let's see what's coming up for you i'm also going to be pulling at the very end a path of the soul destiny card for you guys as an additional um, guidance you know okay so let's see what's coming up here what is happening in your love life those of you that chose the Visconti Sforza deck or deck number one what is coming up in your love life right now Oh, okay, power struggles. For some reason, I'm picking up power struggles. There's something in the dynamic about power, has to do with power, who has the power, the upper hand in the relationship. This usually goes hand in hand with manipulations or trying to convince the other of something, right? So um, this usually goes hand in hand with control, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Those of you that chose Visconti Sforza, the nature of the relationship, your significant other's thoughts, feelings, actions, your actions, your feelings, your thoughts. Let's have a look. All right. So looking at this, it really feels like there's something. Oh, OK. Massive download. OK. Okay, somebody here, there are two issues that are a constant in this relationship that I'm seeing. One is the mother, the role of the mother, um, motherhood, um, the mother, someone's mother, and the other is money, okay? Because right in the middle of the relationship, we have this queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles has to do with a maternal figure, a figure that holds some sway, some kind of a, um, you know, um, <laughs> 
some kind of a control over over the situation this may also have to do with money right so i'm seeing resources finances security stability safety this is all playing a role in your relationship and what you guys may be communicating with or talking about if you are single then you might be dealing with issues around the mother that are playing in factoring in to how you see yourself how you feel about yourself that need to be cleared okay so if you are um in a relationship right and you're wondering you know is is this it because i'm seeing here this seven of cups on your side so this is someone that you may be really infatuated with or you may have been infatuated with this person this may have started off as an infatuation and um, you may feel that this person is the person for you this is it this is judgment card this is a renewal an awakening a grand rising and the um how you present yourself is a lot of passion and lust and um, <laughs> new beginnings right so willing to go for a new beginning and um, the, your person is kind of four of coins in the mind thinking about money six of coins in the emotions thinking about money and the nine of swords on the outer so definitely going through it okay 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 this is what i'm picking up okay for those of you that chose the visconti sforza deck there may be some issues around obviously finances um your significant other may be someone that needs to feel very safe very stable very um taken care of this is someone who possibly desires a kind of a mothering and and maybe makes you feel a little bit like the mother in the relationship and it may be something where you have the upper hand and the control because of that mothering because of taking care of someone and right now it's still very passionate and something that you're really mm, feeling you know like this is what i want i really want to take care of someone i want to show them how much i love them by mothering them and you know showing how much i care but in the long run the the imbalance the power balance is going to be too heavy in your favor almost right because we have here the queen of pentacles okay so or vice versa this may be um someone that is taurus virgo capricorn that you may be dealing with someone who's very concerned about money as well making money having money having enough money having enough resources this is someone who may be trying to make their way up in the world at this time maybe studying maybe you know just starting out in a company in some kind of a junior position or just starting a new position new job and they really want to prove themselves i'm feeling and i feel like they want to really show who they are in the world but they're also very security minded so they're not the hugest risk takers and they tend to over worry and overthink and overdo and you're the one that's you know kind of more spiritual in the sense of having a little bit more faith and having a little bit more belief in yourself but also in the unknown in the universe but you're definitely willing to give this a shot and it feels like you're really passionate towards them and you want to awaken their passions and it's almost like someone who's kind of like showing someone wanting to show someone the world and wanting to travel and have all these experiences and adventures and you saying hey look at this and have a look at that and this is amazing and this person is kind of like oh no not today maybe next week maybe next month maybe next year and they're a little bit of a couch potato a little bit boring um, because they're so about the stability and the security another thing that is coming up strongly again is the role of the mother right so this person may if you've been with them for a while or if you have children together they may resent you a little bit or resent you know on this deeper level I, this is yeah, but they may feel like i want that love from you i want your attention i want um you to focus only on me and it may be that they how they grew up with their mother was a little bit their mother may have been a little bit over controlling you know or a little bit uh, wanting to take charge all the time and make decisions all the time and keep them from harm right so but it was a little bit much and now they're they're obsessed with staying away from getting hurt they're obsessed with staying away from being harmed and how to maintain security and stability in their lives how to not go through difficulties and hard times and now that they're on their own it's kind of like they're they're having to 
they're overthinking this and worrying incessantly about this. Now, some of you guys may be with someone who also is in debt or is worried or concerned about debts, has to budget themselves in order to pay off these debts. These debts may, of course, have come through. I feel more... It may be studying, but I also feel more real estate. So there may have been a real estate purchase, a recent house purchase, um, something of that nature where this person feels like, okay, I just like spent all this. Now I have to like sit tight and get it all back in. Right. So it's, it's, um, it feels like they're, when it comes to finances, they're not stable. They're not sure. Um, you're actually being a little bit hard on yourself number ones or Visconti Sforzos <laughs> because we've got the seven of cups and the seven of cups has to do with infatuation it has to do with um not seeing things clearly right it also has to do with making choices right so it feels to me like even though you're passionate about this you really in your heart of hearts down deep you haven't fully said yes yet and you're actually willing to start something fresh or new if that's more passionate and that um, pulls you along more, you know? <laughs> so here we have the, again, on the emotions, the judgment card and the judgment is renewal and awakening, right? So this relationship, number ones, I feel is an awakening relationship for you. Um, this may be a connection where you feel like, wow, I really have to step out of myself. I really have to do more than what I've ever done before. I really, you really get to see a side of yourself that you haven't seen before. And um, this infatuation, you're wondering, is it going to turn into love further down the line? Am I in love or am I infatuated? Some of you, right? Some of you are feeling absolutely in love, but you're also feeling like, I don't want to be a mother all the time. I don't want to be mothering this person all the time. This person has to, you know, kind of figure things out here because that's, this is not me. I want a different experience. I feel like you guys want a lot more passion, adventure, excitement, um, romance in your life in your relationship and this person though is is trying to make a solid go at life like they're trying to gain solidity so right now you guys are not going in the same groove right um how is this going to move forward i feel like how is this going to move forward? How's Where is this relationship going? Where is this relationship going, please? Yeah, so there's a lot of hope and um, hope. Oh, yeah. So this is definitely a long term relationship, you guys, because we've got the star. We've got justice, which has to do with contracts, marriages, um, commitments, legalities, right? So hoping for a commitment, hoping for a contract, hoping for a legality. Um, and we've got the 10 of coins, which has to do with family, stability, inheritances, um, buying property together, living together, so on and so forth. So this is looking good for your future in this connection, right? So right now what I'm feeling is that this may be just a phase of insecurity when it comes to your partner, when it comes to money and finances. They really do want to be with you. They want to be stable with you, the four of coins. They're, they may be possessive and holding on to you. This also has Taurian energy, right? They may be possessive, holding on to you a bit, and they're wanting a fair exchange with you. So this is someone who'd want you to work and to contribute to the connection and to your lifestyle, right? And um, this person is also wanting to, um, they don't like change as much, right? They're really rooted, grounded, earthy. They don't like change as much. They don't want to change things up with you. Um, the thing is that you haven't really, um, maybe like you've committed, sure, but there's a corner of yourself or a corner of your being that is kind of asking, you know, is there more, right? Because there are dreams that haven't been fulfilled. There's this soul awakening and this realization of who you truly are and your power and everything. And then we've got the Ace of Wands here, which is passion. And this is all representative of your side of things, right? Passion, new beginnings, inspiration, fieriness. So 
it it feels like those of you that chose this Visconti Sforza that you may be with someone who right now is unable to show their passionate side of themselves but they may be people that are like slow burners <laughs> you know like they 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 stay in things for a long time like they don't switch things up easily they don't like change um they're very focused right now on their career or money making resources stability security finances but they are just like you are hoping for something more secure down the line like this is their intention okay this is they're they're thinking about you know um keeping things getting things more solid with you okay um let me see this may be someone who um because because they're so worried about money and finances, they may not be as generous with you as you would like them to be. Um, they may be very um, withholding almost, right? Because the, the four of coins is this withholding energy, right? It's, it's a kind of a stingy energy sitting on your resources, sitting on what you have. So that's another reason where you're kind of checking your options and thinking, you know, with the seven of cups, is there anything out there? Is there something, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say better, but someone who's a little bit more open-hearted, open-minded, who's more um, willing to let you be a part of their life instead of running parallel lives next to each other, which is what I'm feeling here with the six of coins, right? And it's almost like you guys are running these, these two parallel lives individually, but it, it's not one life together yet. And it's it's almost when you look to the future and you see the ten of coins it's like more of the same so more of both of you doing your own thing in tandem while this is healthy to do your own thing and have your own thing um for long lasting passion and commitment and all of that we do need shared goals mutual goals um a mutual life as well as individuals so it's like three lives that you're living in the relationship and your own <laughs> so and they're living in the relationship and their own right so it, it really feels like this person is is really focused on because when i take um when i look at these three cards together it's literally three six nine right four uh four sorry six ten there we go but all of them are running you know two two running parallel this is so freaky and really wondering if the relationship can can do this if they can do this if if they have the money to do what they want to do in this relationship or if this relationship gives them the stability and security that they need so what else is coming up here what else is coming up one outcome card so there needs to be a better communication between you guys because we've got the eight of wands and you may be wishing for communication from them in regards to something around this relationship it's almost like you guys have to have the talk of where this is going or where you see things ending up or happening or what your choice you know what your future is what your future goals are you know and what you desire for the future because it seems like this person is wanting to give you the world and wanting to give you security and stability but they're wanting to receive this from you as well right and they're wanting you to contribute to to everything kind of staying the same but you seem to be more of an adventurous type who's like wanting the passion the romance the wind swept swept off your feet kind of thing right this spiritual awakening is happening for you another thing um speaking of which with the uh those of you that chose this deck visconti sports it could be that your partner is not as spiritual as you they're more rooted in a 3d experience and they're more about the here and now and this can cause some kind of conflict which is why the eight of wands are coming up that you guys need to communicate that you guys need to talk about things and also accept one another and accept each other and your differences and your different viewpoints and your different standpoints right and opinions it just feels as if um you're a blazing leader with the ace of wands here so your opinions and your choices may not be conventional <laughs> they may not be what your partner wants to see here or experience right but if they're with you this is they're going to have to accept this right so 
the eight of wands is really promising though that you guys can have a good communication you guys can make this a good thing some of you also may be thinking about moving you may be thinking about leaving your residence purchasing a new home elsewhere moving elsewhere this would be a positive thing to do okay so for the next three months what i see coming up for you guys is really a clarification um, about where you guys are what you guys want from life um where this is heading it, it really feels like um you guys are in the same boat together yes you guys are in the same boat together and you guys are um you know rowing <laughs> in the same direction but maybe one is rowing a little bit faster and the other a little bit slower you know or there's some kind of a that needs to be talked about discussed now at the bottom of the deck after i shuffled again is the page of wands again communication again speaking with one another talking with one another um messages but also be mindful of gossip or third part uh, you know talking about you guys and what you guys are doing and your choices and your decisions and or that you guys are even together <laughs> um be mindful of that that it doesn't affect you here we have the seven of wands which kind of confirms this the seven of wands is standing up for what you believe in so again even though um you know talking to one another stand up for what you believe in don't be afraid to to speak your truth or what you want to have heard or understood but also um i feel like this is a relationship worth standing up for this is a relationship worth um, fighting for investing in and don't worry about the naysayers or those that are gossiping or speaking about you okay it's it's all not worth it <laughs> we know this and um just you know keep keep fighting for this relationship keep fighting for for what you know to be true if this is your choice the seven of cups of course is saying that you don't know yet <laughs> so we'll see what happens and let me pull a path of the soul destiny card for you and see if your guys's or two one for you one for your partner if you guys's destiny are on the same track okay one for you one for your partner and let's see what comes up so um let's see here let's see here see this is the thing and this is what came up in the reading as well is that you guys are on some kind of a spiritual awakening journey you're on the path of your soul and this is the card that came up for you is the path of your soul you're on the spiritual awakening journey you're moving down the path of your soul you're awakening to the deeper levels of your consciousness and awareness you're digging deeper into yourself and realizing where things are coming from where things are rooted why you do what you do and so on and so forth and you're really looking behind the veil behind the scenes as well now is a time when things may be opening up for you even more <laughs> and um, you're really seeing things clearly when it comes to your partner they're seeing you as a treasure right this is the treasure this card is and I'll read from the guidebook just a little bit what was one once hidden from view can now be seen laying within you are many inner treasures and gifts this is your time of discovery of special and unique skills that you have hidden like pearls in a shell stay grounded and clear see that's exactly what we're talking about is that your person is going through this period of finding their skills finding their abilities finding what they with them what they want to do with themselves and how they want to express themselves in a career oriented way right so while you're focusing on the inner your your significant other is focusing on the outer and how to bring their inside out and you're focusing on how to go in <laughs> and and find things in the inner worlds so this can be a very nourishing and rich enriching supportive relationship if you guys both understand the the rhythms of life each other's lives and where you both are at right now and that both is absolutely okay that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing at this moment in time right so if you guys can understand that 
that about each other, this can really enrich, enrich each other. Like you can support your significant other coming from a deep well of inspiration and a deep connectedness to deeper information and insights, whereas your significant other can help you with providing the structures that you need in life, that you need to um, have to survive, <laughs> right? To have this experience. So it's, it's, um, and ca can help keep you grounded. So some of you may be exploring working like this or working as an empath or intuitive and your spouse, significant other partner, this relationship is what's going to keep you grounded, rooted, and safe. Okay. Alrighty. I hope that resonated. Please drop a comment in the description box below. If it didn't, I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. Alrighty. Moving onward. And the next one is those of you that chose the soul cards. Okay. So the soul cards, what's coming up for you guys? What is happening in your relationship right now? Ooh, they shuffle like butter. <laughs> what is happening in your relationship right now? And what's coming up for you and your significant other or the person that you have in mind looking at this? Of course, these are relationship readings. So in a way, you could take it also not just for lovers, but for whomever comes to mind in the relationship that you're thinking about. Okay, so let's have a look. Ah, let's have a look here. What am I feeling for you guys? You guys that chose the soul cards. Something about being whisked away, being swept off your feet. Let's see. Okay. Relationship, your significance, others' thoughts, feelings, actions, your actions, feelings, thoughts. All right. Okay. Yeah. So on the bottom of the deck, we have, oh, yeah. And um, all of a sudden I saw somebody in an airplane leaving, right? So flying in an airplane and crying. Someone who's very sensitive, soft, gentle, um, poetic, uh, very um, truthful, honest, integer. Someone who's very, um, lets people into the deepest parts of themselves almost um, unhesitatingly, un, un without someone who doesn't have very strong barriers. It just feels someone's super sensitive and the cards that are popping up here are the eight of wands so this is the flight you know i saw the image of flight before that and um but then the eight of wands popped up and on the top is the three of swords a broken heart right and the three of swords is also a clarification um the three of swords also represents the the mind going into the heart space right and thinking things the thoughts that you were thinking that were giving you nourishment, that were making you feel loved, turned out to be um, on a heart level. Your mind is now telling you is not true. Let's see what's going on. I'm so, oof, what's happening here? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys that chose number the soul cards. Um, all right, I've got, oh. Oh my gosh Oof. this is really heavy you guys the the disappointment is so strong in my stomach the disappointment is so deep in my heart um the ten of swords pops up okay i feel like this is someone who ran away from a relationship okay the relationship wasn't going anywhere or wasn't um you weren't feeling nourished or emotionally sustained in this and you bolted you just said you know what i'm out the door and i see someone with their bags packed and then sitting on an airplane and just crying right and just really feeling 
um, completely disappointed in, in just about everything and needing distance, needing time, needing this. There may have been a breakup or um, a, a distancing from one another. We've got the Ten of Swords in between you guys. And the Ten of Swords, and it, this is crowned by Saturn. So there were some hard lessons in this in this relationship. Okay, there were some hard lessons here. We've got Saturn, and um, there's some. It, it feels like both of you are disappointed in each other, and both of you had high expectations of the other, which weren't met. And um, it 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 literally feels like this building blocks and then all the blocks coming tumbling down a little bit of a tower energy here the significant other the partner in this i'm feeling is the four of cups okay on the mind here i'm feeling that this person was getting a little bit acting like they were a little bit bored acting a little bit emotionally distanced emotionally unavailable um acting as if they weren't into it fully you know and it, it feels with the four of cups like there's almost a little bit of ingratitude towards you or not feeling grateful for you anymore and then we have the page of wands someone who's a little bit flighty um, non-committal maybe a little bit flirty as well with the page of wands um, wanting to relive their youth almost and on the outside, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So someone who's presenting themselves as being reliable down to earth and and um, consistent, but they're not. This is also the Knight of Pentacles is my narcissist card because this is the undeveloped um, uh, King of Pentacles, right? So this person is really uh, putting a lot of stock and a lot of faith and belief into their own belief system and they stick with that ruthlessly no matter what almost uncompromisingly and and it just becomes something very toxic because relationships are all about the compromise and the flow and the understanding and the mutual um like we we both both ends or all three or four or wherever you're at in nowadays you know everybody's pouring into the relationship right and but some people don't understand that they need to pour into the relationship to have something to take out it's like a bank account or a savings account you have to put in otherwise there's nothing in there to to take out and some people have you know typical relationship nowadays is one person puts their all into it and the other person is taking out not realizing that they're not putting anything into it at all right so this is this person this person is not realizing that they're not putting much into the relationship that they're coming off in a way that seems to be disinterested, apathetic, not really committal, not really very lukewarm, wishy-washy, um, uncertain, nothing really there. And you may be feeling completely unsupported. On your end of things, I'm picking up on the... You're trying to communicate, um, five of pentacles, that you're feeling shut out, that you're feeling disconnected from this person, that you're not receiving the emotional... Um, love that you want to receive right you're not receiving that 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 emotional connect that you need or desire in this in in this relationship right and this person is not understanding or pretending not to understand what you're saying emotionally you're trying to distance yourself with the six of swords and you're trying to tell yourself another lesson learned this is something that I learned that, you know, I finally learned my lesson. I should have known this before on and on. Like I was, I saw all the signs and I wasn't paying attention. And on your mind is you're angry, knight of swords, right? You really want to have it out with this person. You really want to explain everything. You really want to talk about things. You really want to talk things out and tell them your side. But you're keeping quiet because you might not find the right words. And you, you don't want to burn your bridges just yet, right? And I see this because of the Six of Swords. This is distancing, but it's not disconnection. And the Six of Swords, we... we keep you know we know the one shore and we sit in a boat and we float to the other shore but the other shore is still accessible there's no burnt bridge you can always jump in the boat and go back so what i'm feeling here you guys that chose soul cards is that 
there is some kind of a disconnect here you guys may not be communicating or talking at this time you may have taken a time off you may have taken a break there may have been some kind of a split um, this person that you were in a relationship with wasn't really putting 100% into it. They were always keeping a kind of a back door open. They may have had a roving eye. They may have been looking around. Um, you know, they may have been giving you the feeling like they're not 100% committed to you or they're not 100% committed to this relationship. They may have, this is someone who's also coming across as super slick, like, um, with a knight of pentacles like they really are um mr not quite mr dreamboat like with a knight of cups but they can be very sensual with a knight of pentacles very sensual very masculine very dark and handsome and solid and someone that initially comes across as someone that can be relied on someone who can carry a load carry a weight someone who can be a rock you know and um, this is what the, they look like, but inside they're kind of mushy and immature and don't really have a spine, right? And we see that with the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. And um, they just, it feels like they don't know what they want in life yet. They haven't grown up yet. They haven't made a choice yet or a decision. This is who I'm going to be. This is what I want from life. This is what I'm going to pursue. It's still very shallow and surface and this is what looks good. You and me look good together. Let's be together. But there's no real essence to it. And finding this out was devastating to you, you know, because now you'd emotionally invested and um, then there was nothing, right? So this feels very, um, this person doesn't feel like they're really emotionally get you, you know? So while you guys connect on various levels and i feel you guys connect on levels when it comes to appearances finances possibly or lifestyle in a sense but like these deep soul connections that makes your soul feel like it's being held in someone else's heart you're not feeling it with this and um this is what is absolutely devastating to you because you really did put your heart into this and you really did try and um you know, you've been traumatized as well, right? And love nowadays also has, well, love throughout the ages also has to do with being able to hold someone else's trauma and understand the needs of a person, right? So um, this person is not understanding or respecting your needs and um, they don't seem to, they're pretending either not to get it or they really don't have it in them to to fulfill your needs okay so let's see how this continues you guys let's see how this continues um there i feel like you've been reluctant to have a heart to heart to really put it out there but your mind is is racing your mind is going full speed you know and um let's see how is this going to continue? What's the next step in this? We've got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, the Eight of Swords is withholding, right? Withholding. So either you're withholding or um, withholding from this person or you're, how should I put this? Either you're withholding love and you're just taking a step back and trying to force them to make a move or you're literally like distanced, completely distanced yourself and um, trying to figure out what your next move is going to be, okay? But right now, you're not going to make a move. This is not the right time to make a move either forward, backward, break up or nothing. It, it just feels like there needs to be a, a, a still period, okay? Moving on from there, we've got the Page of Pentacles and the two of pentacles and then yeah the king of pentacles so it feels like there's going to be um a reconciliation you guys like this is going to someone's going to make an offer with the page of pentacles for some of you this may be even um but this is like on the fringe of this reading <laughs> right for the majority of you this is not going to be what it is but for some of you um there may even be a pregnancy which you guys kind of 
feel is bringing you back together page of pentacles but there's going to be an offer someone's going to make the other person an offer that is okay that is pretty good right so you're also desiring that this person approaches you with an offer okay and the two of pentacles there's going to be a wishy-washy time again right so after this offer has been made and maybe after you guys have come back together reconciled talk things through um there's still going to be this this initial phase of kind of distrust um this this wanting to see where it goes this oh my well you're going to reveal your truth anyways i'll just wait until you do but it's going to be stable king of pentacles okay so and but the king of pentacles is also indicating that um one of you is going to be focusing on career right or both of you is going to be focusing on making money and career and you could be seeing this as a um this relationship as a because the king of pentacles is the master of the material realm so from a soul perspective and a spiritual growth perspective this may be a relationship which you later see or you learn to see now as something that has helped you on your soul path so something that is not um whoopsies <laughs> dog is repositioning <laughs> So something that has helped you on your soul path, um, helped you learn, helped you, you know, learn about life, right? The King of Pentacles is maturity. So this is something that is helping you both mature. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm feeling this relationship 100%. I think it started off really strong and it was there was a lot of potential to it and this may be a soulmate connection as well, right? But I, I, I feel like there's um, there, the person that we were speaking about, one of them that has less passion, ah there needs to be a little bit more like this person really has to put a lot into the relationship to make things balance what you have put in and i'm not quite sure i'm feeling that they're able to do that not that they don't want to do it but that they may not be able to do it 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 feels like um this is something that would definitely take time and a necessity is also distance from family, <laughs> friends, childhood experiences so that this person can really step into their mature selves and not stay in the comfort zone of what their surroundings expect from them. I hope that made sense. Okay, let's have a look at your soul cards, uh, path of the soul cards, sorry path of the soul cards for yourself and the person that you have in mind you guys yourself and the person that you have in mind path of the soul yourself and your person okay your person is um hmm this is interesting because your person is actually going through an inner awakening on their own right and they're feeling let me show you they're having the third eye this is representative clairvoyance and the third eye pop up so your person may have this innate um, psychic ability or intuition that throws you off guard every now and then they just seemingly say the right thing at the right moment or they see through things randomly where you're like where'd you get that from that is so like that was so insightful and they're like I don't know <laughs> just popped up for me to say and you're like wow so it feels like they're having some kind of a deeper inner awakening and this is also what they're what's keeping them from focusing on outer things is that in internally they're they're going through this shift and change which makes them look more within than without right but they don't know because they're coming from such a materialistic background they can't put a name to things or point a finger to things they don't know how to tell this to you they don't know how to explain this to you so they just keep it to themselves but they're probably opening up psychically they're interested in psychic things they're wanting to can you guys hear him 
so there he is. <laughs> they're opening up to psychic things right now in psychic worlds, and they're wanting to know more about that and dive more into that. So you may be, some of you may be feeling like this isn't a fit for them or this interest, they shouldn't be having this interest. Um, this doesn't match them or this is not real or this is not authentic. Um, they're just pretending, but they're not like there's something that is really opening up. And if you meet them on that level and if you're able to support them in their inner awakening and their spiritual growth, this would be phenomenal. This would really help your relationship. For you, you live in a magical world, right? And you want to stay in this magical universe. This is um, this card represents magic, the magic of fairies and fantasy land and that kind of thing. And you kind of make your world special and you make the world a special place for everyone else as well that you deal with, right? So you're always looking for surprises to happen. What's around the corner? What's next? There's something really... Um, cute about you people might think you're absolutely sweet and cute and adorable you have this energy that just pulls people in and uh, makes them want to engage with you and see what life is about with you and experience life with you there's a strong charisma with you okay a strong charisma that this person is also um one second Oh, sorry, my dog just sounded like he was gonna. But um, there's something about you that is so magical and wonderful that just pulls this person in. Like they want to experience this magic with you. They want to dive deeper with you into the magical worlds and you're able to um, renew a spark within people. You're able to bring that, that spark to people that makes life worth living, that makes life happy, that makes life joyful. And um, sometimes it gets too heavy for you because um, you're lighting everybody's spark and no one's lighting yours and you're making the world a magical place for everyone but everyone's kind of trying to prove to you that it's not magic and how dare you think it's magic and look at the reality of things you know and pulling you down and you're trying to fly but you stay you right it's really important but if you can help your significant other in their spiritual awakening this will help tremendously and be mindful of who you let around yourself besides that and that you pull them into your magical world and that they don't pull you out of the magic that you're living okay and um into this this boring place <laughs> that we 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 all don't want to you know stay stuck in for too long right okay moving onward to those of you that chose the wild unknown okay so the wild unknown tarot those of you that chose this one and let's see what's coming up for you guys Ooh, this is a those of you that chose the number three or the wild unknown, okay. This is definitely a more fun energy. It's lighter again. Let's see what's coming up. The wild unknown. What's happening in your love life? What's coming up for you? What's coming up for you? Nature of your love your lover's thoughts his feelings or her feelings their attitude your attitude and for some reason you're getting two cards for this so i'm leaving it your feelings and your thoughts let's have a look at what's going on going on okay Woo! yowza all right all right All right. Um, woof. Okay. <laughs> woo hoo hoo. Yowza. This is, this is interesting. Okay, so here we have the Ten of Swords. And um, the Ten of Swords in between you guys. So this may have been a recent argument, an exchange of words. Um, this really... Uh, and we see this one sword going through the eyes of the buffalo. This is brutal, right? So this this feels like a brutal argument, a brutal fight, a brutal breakup, a brutal um, 
But this also feels like an on again, off again relationship. And it feels like there's this power play between you guys where you try to stay on top of things and you try to stay in control of the flow of things. And I see this how and why, because on your significant other, we've got the two of swords in their mind. So waiting, not making a move, um, being stuck, not knowing is this, you know, is it right to move forward or right to break things off completely? Then they have the page of cups. They're hoping for something. They're hoping for a reconciliation. They're hoping for someone to pour water on their mills. They're hoping for an offer of love for you, from you. Then we have the high priestess, but they're playing it cool. And um, you guys haven't been in communication as well, okay? On your end of things, you're playing it like, you know what, I got my life under control, eight of coins, I'm focusing on my money and my resources, ace of pentacles and ace of, um, ace of pentacles here. Like I'm focusing on a new beginning, I'm focusing on a new start. You may have moved houses, towns, jobs, Another Ace of Swords, new beginnings here in your emotional life. You've decided to tear yourself away from this relationship. And we've got on your mind is the Six of Wands, victory. You're walking away with your head held high. And you've come out of this a different person with the butterfly rising above the bramble. So someone's been hurt here, you guys. And um, someone's been hurt a lot. And I feel like you felt like it was you. You felt like you were the one that was hurt, but your significant other was significantly hurt too. There may have been a third party, okay? And there may be a, a beginning new relationship. <sighs> Ooh, this is a tricky reading, you guys. Number three <laughs> and the wild unknown. So, um, but there may have been a third party. There may be the beginning of a new relationship. Um, but both of you, I feel, are st thinking about each other and you're both very um, still triggered by each other, still very energetically connected. So even though both of you, one of you is stuck and not moving forward or backward, the other one has decided, I'm done, over, I'm moving forward, I'm living a different life and I'm leaving this in the past and behind me, but it's still there because it's the, the fuel for the future, right? It's the fuel that's driving you forward. So the anger, the the resentment, all of it is still kind of there, even though you're trying to leave it behind you, you're trying to leave it past. Now these readings can be vice versa, you guys. So um, it may be you that is hoping for a reconciliation, that is hoping that tried something with someone else that didn't really work out, that didn't really get past the beginner stages of, of a fresh relationship. And you're still hoping for that person to return and to come back, but they seem to have, you know, walked into a new life entirely and shut the door behind them. So it, it really feels as if, um, this is a situation you guys that needs to be, um, whew, one of you has, I wouldn't even say let go. They've, they've just taken the power position, you know, taken the powers position. How is this going to move forward, this relationship? We've got the star. Mm -hmm. We've got the eight of cups. Mm -hmm. Someone leaving to look for something better, something higher. I deserve more. Page of pentacles, the chariot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ace of wands. Absolutely. So we've got the, the star, right? So someone following their true north, their inner star, but always moving for also moving forward, trying to find something better. Eight of cups, leaving the past behind what was broken, leaving it behind page of pentacles, a new offer, a new start. Um, the chariot moving forward solo on their own. And again, the ace of wands and new passion lighting up, but also sexual encounters. So what I'm feeling with you guys is that, um, this is not over. Okay. This is not over because there hasn't been a clean cut. It hasn't been fully resolved. And, um, this might be this life or next life, <laughs> but this feels like this, there still needs to be a resolution and a balancing of the energies between you guys. I feel that one of you is still still holding on to hope, is still holding on to um, maybe this will work out, maybe this person will come back, maybe things are not fully over, but one of you has fully and completely moved forward 
and is trying not to look back but the past is still there is still a part of their present experience because it's the fuel for their current and their present experience it's the fuel for the direction that they're moving in it's the what's fueling them to only focus on one thing right which is right now it looks like it's money career finances this is the one thing that they can control but there may be a new beginning of a new relationship but i'm not feeling like this is really um the bee's knees are meant to work out it's just meant to help this person um catapult themselves even further from this relationship okay so let's have a look here um how is this going to move forward what is going to happen please what is going to happen with this couple and what is the future for you dear viewer we've got the nine of swords the two of swords and the king of wands in reverse and um, i don't usually read reverses but i'm going to leave it like this so we've got the nine of swords which is definitely sleepless nights this is a hard breakup to get over and it was a hard fight a hard battle during the relationship again this could be an on again off again relationship but i also feel like something explosive towards the end happened something that really triggered disappointed humiliated um caused a lot of harsh words harsh speeches we've got the two of swords not moving forward or back backwards being stubborn staying relentless almost um but also not knowing which choice is the best one so just avoiding choice altogether and then we have the king of wands which is movement instinct intuition in reverse so someone's not listening to their intuition they're not listening to their instinct about what to do with this relationship, how to handle things, how to move forward with things, but also they're not putting energy, passion, or drive into this. Also, the sexual connection is no longer, okay? So let's have a look at, oh, um, I feel like there's something better, smoother, easier waiting for you, the, those of you that chose number three or the wild unknown. There's something really, um, better out there there's someone is there someone new coming is there a new relationship coming towards you and of course right two of wands okay so there is going to be a new view there's going to be something new coming we've got the um hanged man but you have to go through this um reversal of how you see things how you see yourself how you view yourself how you view relationships you have to come at it learn to come at it from a completely different perspective because whatever you've been doing up to now it it needs to evolve it needs to grow it needs to shift into something better for you okay so let's have a look at the path of the soul destiny cards and what's coming up here path of the soul destiny cards and this is for you and the person that you're thinking of and i feel like reconciliation so let's see angels and creativity yeah <laughs> Whoo! okay um so for you this is the angels okay and um, this is for those of you that are hoping for a reconciliation, that have been praying to God, praying to the angels, praying at night. They've been hearing your prayers, right? And um, spirit has been hearing you. And this reading is a confirmation of that. But they've been hearing you. They've been hearing your prayers. They've been hearing what you want and what you desire. And they're working with you. They're clearing the path for you, right? And um, 44 is a master number, and this has to do with endurance. It has to do with, um, it's actually a very militaristic number, right? So the Christ consciousness number is 33, and 44 is being willing to fight what you believe in, fight for God. And um, so there's this moment of time that you have to pass through, right? And um, there's this moment of time that you just have to, really define what you believe in for yourself about yourself and about relationships you in relationships and how relationships should be for you and you really have to to get clear on that and stand up for that right stand in that truth because 
Um, you tend to lose yourself possibly in relationships. You tend to lose yourself in someone else's truth, but it's important that you live your truth as well, right? And that someone else recognizes who you truly are and what you are about. When it comes to your significant other or the person that you have in mind, the card that pops up is creativity or creation. So this is new beginnings. This is number one. This person has definitely, um, is definitely all about new beginnings now it could be with you right but the energy would have to change significantly for things not to repeat themselves or not to go the same way that they went before right so you know <laughs> if this is going to happen or not you know if you've changed or your significant other has changed enough to start completely fresh and meet each other in a different plane on a different playing field in a different level but um otherwise it's 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 this is something that you know there's someone else around the corner there's someone else that is coming towards you okay Alrighty, and moving on now to um those of you that chose the mythical 78 tarot let me just pack these away one second okay the mythical 78 tarot those of you that chose this deck what is coming up for you and let's see number fours what is coming up for you guys And again, these are, you know, general pick a card reading. So if they don't resonate, then maybe it was for someone close to you or someone that you know. So please send these readings on or um, share these readings to someone that you recognize, right? Might need to hear a message here. And um, but also check other readings coming up right and other readings that I've done and see which one is you know other readings might be for you okay so what's coming up for those of you that chose the 78 mythical tarot what is going on with those that chose the 78 mythical tarot their love life what is coming towards them relationships okay yeah this is interesting i already feel these these are stronger currents that are rolling through this deck here um yeah there's a uh, this this really feels like a um hmm. this is a strong connection that i'm tapping into And we've got, we've got the star as the card coming up, representative of your relationship. So those of you that chose the mythical, right? You may be wishing upon a star. You may have put your significant other on a pedestal. This may be someone that you're worshiping from afar as well. This may not, this may be someone that doesn't realize how much you care or how much you're invested into them. Um, you may be wishing upon, you know, holding a high ideal, holding um, someone in high regard, holding, you know, waiting for that perfect person as well. Like there's something very dreamy about this card, but of course you may also be Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarian energy, but it feels very dreamy and very highly, highly idealistic. Of course, this could be a perfect connection you know let's see what comes up as well if you are in a relationship this could be a connection that is definitely um high vibrational right something that is vibing on a higher level uh, more of a an expression of what you really want to express in relationships and love at this time so your significant oh wow Whew. yes okay this is definitely a soul connection and one of you has um okay 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 Whew, okay okay <laughs> 
two, two stories are coming up with this reading, okay? The first one is very specific. I feel that for some of you, um, a significant other or lover or partner or um, has died, has passed on, okay? This is the star. This is looking to the other side. This is looking to see, do they still see me? Do they still hear me? Do they still talk to me? Am I still connected to them, okay? And the answer is yes, of course you are. This is something that broke your heart. This is something that forced you into a new beginning. This forced you into a new life that you didn't choose for yourself. This forced you into a new chapter that you didn't choose for yourself. And it forced you to become stronger and clearer. And um, it almost made you a little bit more bitter as well. It made me you a little bit more... Um, <sighs> A little bit more fragile but also a little bit harder like there's just this hardening that I feel around the heart it, it drove a stake through your heart the loss of this person it feels like your person may have been an indigo may have been someone who was open to spiritual things open to the spirit realm open to other worlds um, may have been someone who's really a unique soul in this world um, a unique being in this world it feels like um, this was someone who's also very intuitive, empathic, someone who had a heart and their heart held yours soft. And now that they're gone, you have to learn how to soften your heart. You have to learn how to forgive. And there's something about being forgiving towards life and towards God, because you're, you're of course, you know, when we go through these stages of grief, you're kind of blaming life, blaming God, or not even able, like it goes so deep, you can't even blame life or God, and you know this logically, so you're not allowing those emotions to surface of blame and of anger and of resentment, but you need to, right? You need to scream it out, and God can take it. God can handle this right so you're not going to lose lo god's love if you get angry and if you say you know what god what was this right why did this have to happen to us to me to the our family to my person like why did this happen but it feels like um there was there was a lot of oof there's a lot of pain, a lot of anguish, and this feeling of isolation, loneliness. I feel locked in ice. I feel locked in ice like my heart is in ice and closed in ice. And the ice is so thick that no matter how I break it, I, I can't break the ice, but at the same time, I don't want to because the ice is keeping my heart together. If the ice would melt, my heart would fall apart and break right so this is um this is what i'm picking up with those of you that chose number four the mythical tarot as one direction of of what's happening and the person that also passed away was definitely someone who was very family oriented who was very um for the family connected to the family someone that the family relied upon right this was someone who was just and fair and um, mind oriented right so very smart a quick thinker um had quick solutions quick answers someone who was able to give you support mentally someone who was able to um soothe things and make things better right so every now and then you send them love and you send them a thought and you send them love from your heart and you're saying i hope you're still there i hope you're still around i hope you're seeing this i'm hearing i hope you're seeing your daughter walk or your daughter do something different do something new um step into a different phase of her life i'm hoping that you see that and yes they're seeing this yes they're there with you yes they're there with their children as well okay I'm seeing this because on your end of things, we've got the Queen of Swords, which is this grief card. This is also the Widow card, right? Someone who has lost their partner. We're seeing the Three of Swords, the Heartbreak, right? The Heartbreak, and we're having the Ace of Swords. These are all Swords cards, right? And Swords, only Swords, this is completely in the mind. This is very isolated, lonely, um, having to make decisions on your own, face life on your own. And this is also Kali, right? So a little bit of vengefulness and anger and um, this distrust in life, right? So maybe you trusted life before and you were completely open, but now you're having to learn to trust life or get to know life in a completely different way. So um, it really feels very, very, and here your significant other was a family person, but this was someone who possibly had difficulties with money because I'm seeing this with a nine of, well, or came through 
with money, right? Came through with, um, had to fight for money, had to do a lot for money, had to work hard for money, but was self-sufficient. Um, then we have the Ten of Pentacles, very family oriented and always hoping for, um, had big dreams for their families, had big dreams for life with their family. And then we have the King of Swords, so someone who's very just and fair, okay? So that's one timeline. Um, the other would be that if you're in a relationship right now, which this doesn't feel like, it feels like you're looking towards someone. You guys, maybe you started a relationship with this person or you're hoping for a relationship with this person and things didn't work out. You're coming out of a relationship or heartbroken, um, something didn't work out. And now you have this person in view, right? And you're wondering, is this going to work out? Would it work out if I approached them? This person seems to be in a commitment already if you're not sure or aware of that this person seems to be committed elsewhere and this may have been um something that broke your heart right something that um made you feel a little rejected a little um abandoned almost it triggered all these things because the queen of swords is she's emotionally unfulfilled right so plus the three of hearts so I'm feeling you loving this person from a distance, desiring this person from a distance, but also having, um, this is the pile for those of you that have, you may want to check into having a spirit husband or a husband in spirit that is also keeping you blocked from moving forward in real life relationships, physical relationships, right? Um, this is a powerful one. And, um, this is something that can definitely be cleared. That's not a problem. But the love and the connection between you and whom I'm assuming you're calling your twin flame or something like that on the other side is very strong. But um, for the majority of you, I'm feeling this is someone that you're seeing from a distance and you're not in connection with or communication with and you're kind of idolizing them or idolizing them as the the significant partner significant other perfect partner for you um it feels like there's some really there's a deep disappointment or grief within yourself probably about yourself right which is not allowing you to really step forward and show your interest in this person and i'm seeing this with the ace of swords as well being um praying and being inspired but also the butterfly strikes me on this this um card this this renewal this renewal of self and of hope and of belief in yourself and hoping and wishing that this relationship would give you that you know like if this person would just notice me or if this person would notice i'm alive and and say hey it's you i want to be with this would validate me this would make me feel this would change my life but we have to realize that other people don't change our lives in that sense right we have to change ourselves we have to change our our, our our feeling about ourselves and how we go about things and where we come from and how we deal with life that's the work that we have to do internally and um some of you have this ideal dream person you know like this this person that is always kind always smart always has the right answer always does the right thing never makes a mistake and it makes it hard for you to get into a real relationship with a um real human being that has frailties and vulnerabilities and mistakes and falls short of things you know so um i also want to say that um for some reason pornography popped up in 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 this download um that some of you uh you know you might be up against this um issue right and um this idealization of the other person that doesn't match up to reality right so we we want to get down to earth and the person that you're you're looking towards is very grounded is very down to earth has air earth energies um so gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn kind of mix or you know but they're very grounded down to earth practical pragmatic um hard working um, intelligence, um, all of that. And they do come from a family background. So I do feel that some of them come either from wealthy families or from families that have accomplished something or desire accomplishment. And so they want that accomplishment too, and they work for it. And you look towards this person because they keep you uplifted and motivated, right? They, they make you feel like life can be conquered 
and um, that you don't have to suffer as much anymore but you can conquer life on your own terms as well this is the inner work and the alchemy that we all have to do so um but you know what it's it's sometimes we need things that pull us forward like the carrot on the stick right so i don't feel like this is an impossibility but let's see what what else can come of this for those of you that resonate with this message um, what will the outcome be? What will the outcome be? One, two, three. Yeah. So there is a, um, whew, those of you that chose, okay. So nine of wands, right? Endurance. So I feel that some of you are going to have to endure being solo or single for a while, right? Or, um, if you're in a relationship going through a period where of of change of transformation within yourself but solo almost right feeling like you're alone in this relationship doing things on your own living your own life letting your partner figure things out and then we have judgment and a reawakening okay so also those of you that have lost a partner um, it's been hard and it's been tough, but this is going to pay off at this experience, right? Because your partner is going to be there waiting for you when it is your time, which is not tomorrow. <laughs> so, but how this is going to work out, we've got the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Cups. I feel those of you that chose this last deck that something really stable and solid is coming towards you for you. Um, this is the King of Pentacles though. This is a different person. This is a real life person. Pentacles, body, physic, resources, right? Whereas the King of Swords is, is more of an idea, okay? So um, those of you that are single, there is someone coming towards you, but it may not be someone that you recognize right away if you have a strong idea in your mind of who it is that you're looking for. And then we have the high priestess intuition. This is someone that can help you with your intuition, that gives you the stability and security that you need in order to follow your intuition, dive into your intuition, open up to your intuition, which will lead to the nine of cups, emotional stability and happiness. Okay. So I am feeling that things are going to work out for you, number four, but you've got to give this time. You've got to give this time to unfold. Um, the King of uh, Pentacles is not a fast mover. This is not, this is the earth energy. It moves very in its own time, in its own cycle. And um, I feel that this is going to, the stability though that is coming your way is really going to help you dive into your soul, connect to your soul, receive messages from your soul, move you forward in a way that is that is much, much better. And I feel that at the end of the day when, you know, judgment comes around, that your person is going to be there for you, okay? Those of you that lost a person. I also want to say that it's... Um, it's okay for you to move on. And I feel that there's someone coming for you, those of you that chose number four, that is wealthy, that is um, settled, that is stable, that is um, really grounded. And they're looking for someone like you who's willing to really connect on a soul level with them, who's really looking for a partner, a soul partner who can you know, who kind of idealizes them a little bit as well, like someone who puts them a little bit on a pedestal and makes them feel good about themselves. And you're really good at doing that. So I feel like this is this is exactly who they're looking for. And they're going to fulfill your wildest dreams. <laughs> they're going to fulfill your every fantasy with nine of cups, right? And so there is emotional fulfillment and satisfaction coming for you. But we have to move past this um, idealization stage, right, of things and be willing to really step into a real physical relationship, okay? Alrighty, so let's see. What are your destiny cards or path of the soul cards for you and your significant other? 
you and your significant other for those of you that chose the mythical mythical you and your significant other and okay you significant other all right so the one that came up for you number four is consciousness and this card is a card of change right so literally your consciousness is changing and this is a healing of your thought processes old patterns and way of being there is a large spiritual force working with you now to help rebalance the mental body you're finding greater clarity and new ways of dealing with the life experiences this is a powerful step towards becoming and outwardly expressing your true state of being when it comes to your significant other my loves and i feel like this is um for those of you that have lost a partner there are new beginnings ahead this is revelations okay and they've stepped into um realizing things on a different level quite literally the veil is being lifted to reveal something new that was not previously available to you in one way this can relate to a new environment new location but it can also show uh the revealing of a new perspective and what you previously held as truth was only a portion of the whole all is being revealed to you now from here you can operate with a new view seeing things are they real as they really are so this is for those of you that have lost a partner this is what your partner is going through now is this revelation this unveiling this realization this seeing it all and losing the the container of their previous perspective those of you that have not lost a partner and you are looking or in a relationship this card is goddess right so the goddess is here to remind you that your sexuality is an important part of being in a female body and it is just as important as all the aspects that make you you and for men there is a strong female energy around you begin to study and understand that this feminine energy as it plays an important role in balancing your male energy so this is what we were talking about about being willing to step into a real physical relationship right and the goddess is you know goddesses are goddesses because when you're in their energy they make you feel unlimited and powerful right so you literally feel that being in their energy and um of course you know they're a goddess because you think like they're unlimited and powerful but, but this thought comes to you because of the feeling that you have in their energy right so you uplifting this person that you're with letting them feel good about themselves and their lives right this is this is what they love about you <laughs> that you're able to make them feel so good and um you show up as a goddess to them or you, god or you name it right but you are a really supportive energy and um this new realization of where your strength lies in relationships you know is is helping you shift your consciousness and your awareness that it's okay to love it's okay to love someone who's human and who's got vulnerabilities and frailties and isn't perfect and it's okay to get in these kind of relationships and it's okay for someone to love you and just because you're not perfect doesn't mean you're not lovable or worthy of love you don't have to be perfect to be lovable or worthy of love and this is probably the closing sentence for your re reading you are lovable as you are okay number four thank you so much thank you guys all of you for listening and that's all i have for you today stay tuned for further videos on this channel and don't forget forget the 25 percent off offer for this month of october where you can get to know my services one-on-one -on -one with you diving into your life and unfolding potentials and which 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 way to go <laughs> take care you guys have a good night bye